Hey, this episode is episode number 52, which, believe it or not, means that we've completed one whole year of weekly podcast episodes. And not only that, we actually have a Facebook group called Executive Code, where we're diving deeper into the learning, which is absolutely brilliant. And I'm even doing Facebook Lives, something that I'd never thought I'd be doing. And we also have our new mastermind group, the Executive Lounge, which is absolutely amazing. All of these elements for me are success because I'm doing what I absolutely love doing and I'm helping as many people as I possibly can on their journey so that they can get clarity around what they should be doing in their life and how to make their life more effortless while also reaching their full potential. So what does being successful mean to you? What is it that you're striving for? What do you want to be, do and have when you're successful? These are all great questions that are well worth answering for yourself. But before you do, let me share a story with you. Now, there's a parable that's often told as a joke about business consultants and the work that they do. And it's a conversation that takes place between a fisherman and a business consultant. And I'm sure you've heard of it at some point. And if not, then it's well worth just doing a Google search for it. However, I'm going to turn it on its head so that you get something more from it. In that way, then the story would look like this. One day, a fisherman walks into the office of a business mentor and explains to the mentor that he lives in a small village and has a small boat that brings in a small catch of fish each day for his family. So the mentor asks him, what is it that you want to do? What's your dream? And the fisherman says to the mentor, I want to be rich, have a fleet of bigger boats that are fishing all day, and then have my own processing plant where I can sell to major fish distributors. How long would that take, do you think? Asked the mentor. Oh, I reckon if I worked hard enough at it, I could achieve it in maybe five or six years, replied the fisherman. And then what? Asked the mentor. Well, after that, I could acquire other companies, grow a massive organisation, and finally sell my company and make millions. Wow, that sounds amazing, said the mentor. And after that, what would you do? Oh, wow, after that I'd have enough money that I could retire to a small village and be rich and happy. And what would you be doing then, asked the mentor. Oh, I'd sleep in late, I'd make love to my wife, I'd play with the grandkids and have an afternoon siesta. In the evenings I'd shoot the breeze with my friends and have a full and happy life. That sounds idyllic, said the mentor. And what is it that you do currently? Well, I sleep in a bit late, then I wake up worried that I haven't got enough money to buy the big boat that I want. I don't have much time to spend with my wife and my kids because I'm always on the go trying to make things happen. So that causes more strife. My health is suffering and I'm stressed out all the time because I'm not bringing in enough fish each day. And then I feel guilty that I'm not doing enough. Well, said the mentor, that's not really good, is it? So let me feed back to what you described, said the mentor. To be happy, you'd love to sleep in a bit late, make love to your wife, spend time playing with your grandkids and have an afternoon siesta. Then in the evenings, you'd love to shoot the breeze with your friends and have a full and happy life. That's right, said the fisherman. So what's stopping you from being, doing and having that now? Asked the mentor. Why are you stressing yourself out, pressurizing yourself and worrying that you're not doing enough right now in the hope that will give you what it is that you want? where in fact, you can have what you want right now. The fisherman sat back in his chair and reflected for a while, and then said to the mentor, Nothing. There's nothing stopping me having a full and happy life right now. Hmm. So let me ask you those same questions I asked at the beginning. What does being successful mean to you? What is it that you're striving for? What do you want to be, do and have when you're successful? Now, while success is very personal to each individual, it would be fair to say that it would include being happy, being healthy and feeling fulfilled. Yet nearly everyone strives to be living in an image that they have in their mind of what the future could be. And because they're living in the future image, they're stressing themselves out by not being where they are right now. They're trying to live in the future, not the present. In fact, they've detached themselves. And if you want to know what that feels like, ask yourself, Have you ever been having a conversation with your spouse or children where they're telling you something about their day, but your mind was somewhere else altogether? Somewhere in the future, worrying about and stressing about what needed to be done for your business? I'm sure you have. That's being detached. And when you're being detached, what do you think can be achieved? The answer is absolutely nothing. In order to get where you want to get to, you have to be whole. The whole person, the whole mind. When your mind is fractured like that, you're not going to get what it is that you want. When you're fractured, you're going to feel impatient about life. When you're fractured, 
then you're not going to be able to enjoy your life fully. When you're fractured, you're making yourself unhappy because you're comparing your current life to a fantasy life that you're stressing yourself about not having achieved. So what do you do to fix it? The secret is in the two-letter word, be. Yes, be. In order to be successful, be successful now. Again, what's your definition of success? Then with that definition of success, ask yourself, what does it feel like for you? And when you get that feeling of what success is for you, be that now. There's absolutely nothing stopping you being that now. Let me do a little experiment with you right now. Go to a moment you felt absolutely amazing. It can be any moment. It could be a moment you put on a new outfit of clothes and you got a really great comment from someone. Or you were walking into a meeting in great form and you simply nailed that meeting with your performance. Or you achieved something that you wanted to do and you felt just absolutely amazing. Whatever the moment is for you, just find one moment and bring it into your mind. And as much as you can, stay with that moment. Feeling the amazing feeling you experienced back when that moment happened. You can see yourself in that moment and it feels great, right? So let me ask you. Were you able to bring yourself back to that moment? And while you were replaying that moment in your mind and filling your mind with all that was happening, you were able to feel that same sensations again. So the thing is, you can be that same feeling as often as you want. You're filling your mind and being present in that moment again. And you can do it at any time you want to. But yeah, when it comes to something that you're striving for because you don't have it right now, You're being stressed, you're being worried, you're being impatient, you're being anxious. Simply, you're being not what you really want to be being. Whatever you are being is what you will experience. Just like how you were able to change your state of being by filling your mind with a moment from your past that you were feeling amazing, you can also change your state of being about a future moment right now in this very moment. So now ask yourself, how are you being as you go throughout your day? Now that you can feel the difference between a moment you felt amazing in your life, where you felt successful in your life, compared to how you're currently being throughout your day right now, then you'll be able to see and feel the difference. When someone walks into a room that you perceive as being successful, what is it about them that makes you perceive that they're successful? And it won't necessarily be about their clothes that they wear, because I've met a lot of very wealthy individuals that if nobody knew who they were, they'd be inclined to throw them a few bob to buy some new clothes. Being successful is not about the clothes a person wears or how they look. There's an energy about them. It's that energy that they're being successful. You can have that same energy. You already do. You've just experienced it when you filled your mind with one of those past moments in your life where you felt amazing. You can't be successful if you're fractured. So be successful now. Can you still grow your business to where you want it to be? Absolutely you can But do you want to do it in the hard way or do you want to do it the easy way? The hard way is when you're fractured. The easy way is when you're whole, on purpose and in equilibrium. You can enjoy the journey right now. You don't have to wait until you retire and live in a small fishing village where you can sleep in late, make love to your partner, play with the grandkids and have an afternoon siesta. Then in the evenings, shoot the breeze with your friends and have a full and happy life. You can have that right now. Does it mean you'll be lazy? No, absolutely not. Not if you're on your purpose. Because when you're on your purpose and living your purpose, you want to make it greater. Because it's no longer about you, but about others. It's about the legacy, the impact, or the difference you want to make. So you'll always be driven for greater. But being driven is very different to striving. Being driven is when you're absolutely passionate about what it is that you're doing and the fulfillment that you get from doing it. It's not an ends to a means. It's much, much, much bigger than that. So let me ask you, what does being successful mean to you? What is that you're striving for? What do you want to be, do and have when you're successful? And what's stopping you from being that right now? Now, if you want to learn more about what I share in this podcast, learn how to discover your own true unique purpose, how you can reach your full potential with a lot less effort, then come join us in our Facebook group. Just head over to Facebook, search for The Executive Code, or you can search for Paul William Davis, or you can visit my website, paulwilliamdavis.com, and there's clicks and links there on my website that you can actually find our Facebook group from there. 
or the link is in our show notes. There's multiple ways of how you can find our Facebook group, so come join us. Trust me, if you want to find out what your own purpose is, then join us in our Facebook group. But until next time, I wish you every success.